646 on this Saturday morning. It's starting out chilly in many areas. We do, though, have a mostly clear sky and just some slick secondary roads, particularly on the higher terrain around the Pikes Peak region. We can see that in Woodland Park, where it's, oh, by the way, only two at the Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. Highway 24 looks okay. Again, it's once you get off the main arterials that you run into a few slick spots. That's true around the Monument area as well. As you head into downtown Colorado Springs, we don't see as much of that. The interstate's been fine. Most of the major arterials are fine. Just a little frosting of snow, as seen from right here at the Caradio Studios, looking back towards Cheyenne Mountain in a beautiful blue sky. Looks good in Pueblo this morning, too. It's just cold. Skycast shows through the day today, though, we'll expect an increase in clouds and eventually some spotty snow showers to develop over the ski resorts. Nothing real widespread or organized today, but some light accumulations up there for the skiers, maybe about an inch or two today. And by 4 o'clock, you see some of the clouds drifting out across the front range. And it wouldn't shock me to see a few flurries develop over some of our local mountain areas. But again, we're not expecting much. High temperatures today in the 30s and 40s at lower elevations in eastern Colorado. So these numbers coming in close to 10 degrees below where we should be this time of year. Teens and 20s only for the high country. And then 30s should be commonly found over the southern valleys. We don't expect a lot of wind today. Any flurries along the front range this evening will come to an end, but we will keep some scattered snow showers going over the Continental Divide tonight. Again, a few spots maybe pick up an inch or two. It's going to be pretty spotty in nature, but that could mean some slick roads will continue over the high country through tomorrow morning. And tomorrow looks a lot like today. I think we'll see the clouds on the increase, maybe a few flurries over near the mountains late in the day. Of course, we have the Oscars here at Caradio tomorrow night. Monday will be a little warmer with highs in the 40s. Then another front comes in Tuesday into Wednesday. And it looks now like maybe Tuesday night could bring us a shot of some light snow along the front range. We'll track that over the next couple of days. If that happens, we'll get it out by the end of the week. Should be back up in the 50s by Friday. And at that time, we'll likely notice the wind coming back into the area once again. Pueblo, look for temperatures to be in the mid-40s this weekend. Overnight lows in the teens for a couple of nights. We'll jump up into the 50s. Maybe a breezy afternoon on Monday. And then the wind will bring in some colder air late Tuesday into Tuesday night. You too, Pueblo could pick up maybe a little bit of snow Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Not real sure about that yet, but there's an opportunity for it. So that's something we'll track over the next several days. We'll wrap up the work week with mostly dry conditions and warmer air. Back into the 50s to near 60, perhaps, by Friday. Canyon City, a weekend in the 40s. Overnight lows in the 20s. We'll have some clouds around during the afternoon hours. But otherwise, it looks quiet for you this weekend. Again, Tuesday night could bring a chance for at least a little bit of light snow, but that's about the only shot we see for you over the next week or so. And then in Teller County, and this is true for any of our local mountain areas, including the mountains south and west of Pueblo, just enough instability around, almost like summer showers that we could see a, a few snowflakes during the afternoon and early evening hours. We just don't expect they're going to amount to much this weekend, so I don't want you to feel like you're in for a snowy weekend. That's not the case. Monday looks dry. But again, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, that could bring us at least some lightly accumulating snow that would wrap up by Wednesday morning and be done for the rest of the week with highs back in the 40s by Friday. Overnight lows most nights in the teens. Tonight we might drop back off into the single digits once again. So, you know, very different pattern from what we've had for the last couple of weeks when it's just been windy and real warm. Yeah. But, um, you know, at least we get one chance maybe this week to pick up some more snow. That's right. It's a great weekend to go to the ski resorts, too. Yeah, they're getting some fresh snow. I mean, just a little fresh powder. It's, it's not heavy. It shouldn't be too difficult to travel up there. But, yeah, the conditions should be nice. Great. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Thanks, Marty. <laughs> we'll be stuck here working. <laughs> it's true.